Let's go ahead and I'll walk you through the templates, all the different HTML I use there, and we'll be done. Front.html, this is the template for the front of the blog. I'm using some more advanced template features. Again, you don't have to do this. We didn't teach it, but this is how I did it, and there's something to learn from here, I think. This extends base.html. So the template language we're using, Jinja2, allows you to have this kind of template inheritance, so you don't have to write the same HTML over and over again. So I'll show you base.html. This has the main structure of our document. It's got our doc type and our head with our title, and it includes the CSS I've been using to kind of make the blog look a little prettier. And it's got the main body, which basically draws a title. This is the, the main text at the top of the page that I've been clicking on. And this just links to the front. And then we've got this div for our content. And inside here, we can create a block. And this is what the other templates override. So all of our templates that extend from base HTML can use the, this main kind of wrapper HTML for the, the actual document. So front says replace that content and base HTML with this content. And this is some basic Python code inside this template, which says for p in posts, call p.render. Remember, we saw that function in blog.py. Every post has a render function, which renders post HTML with that blog entry. That gets put here. Jinja has this syntax called safe. Now, normally, all of the HTML is automatically escaped. If I didn't have this safe here, Jinja 2 would automatically, because of the way I configured it when we set it up, would escape everything. So if I were to get rid of this piece of code here and we were to reload our blog, it would look something like this. A bunch of escaped HTML blog entries. And so in the escape syntax, what we're telling Jinja is we know what this HTML is. It's safe. You can just include it verbatim. That makes our blog entry look like actual rendered HTML and not this. If we were to look at the source for this page, you can see what we typed in has all been escaped I'm using HTML escaping, which is not exactly what we intended. We can tell Jinja this is safe. You can include it verbatim and it will render fine. So that's the front HTML. This is basically the front page. For a particular blog entry, we use post HTML. And this is the HTML for a, a particular post. I have a class that wraps the whole thing called post. I have a div, rather, whose class is post for wrapping the whole thing. I have another div, which is just the heading. And this has the, this includes the subject of the post in a div, and then also includes the date the post was written in another div using the stir f time is a handy function when you have a date time object in Python and you want to print a human readable version of it. You can use stir f time. And this is a format string. If you Google for Python stir f time, you can see all the different types of format strings you can use for printing dates. But it's really handy. This won't be the last time you use stir f time in this class, so I'd suggest you give that a peek. And then we have the actual content. The content is included. I remember I called it render text on the object. And I did that so I could replace the new lines with the breaks without actually modifying the object. This is included with pipe safe. So that means we can enter HTML in our blog entries, you know, but we want to be able to include HTML in our blog. So you can type in lists and have links and images, all of your fancy HTML formatting. Generally, we want to escape content when we don't trust it. In the case of a blog where users would have to register or maybe it's only your blog, you're the only one who could submit, you generally trust the content. What a lot of sites do is they only trust certain types of HTML. They may say, you know, lists and links are okay, but background colors and marquees and that stuff is not okay. I didn't want to get into all of that sort of parsing and stuff, so I just made it all safe. Which allows, you know, you guys to enter in all sorts of junk on my blog, which is fine. Our next template is for a permalink. This was the page that showed just one blog entry. It inherits from base HTML, and it redefines the content block to basically render one blog. Post that render. That calls that function we define in Python, and include it unescaped. 